Hello. Fairly typical October fair in the outlook as our weather continues to chop and change day on day, certainly for the next five or six days. Low pressure systems are plenty across the Atlantic and uh, myriad weather fronts as well. And they're at some point all going to drift across the UK. It's not going to rain all the time, far from it. Between these weather fronts, there will be instances of sunny spells and actually some fine days to be had. But the detail will always vary with those weather fronts moving in and being blown along by what's going on high up in the atmosphere a fairly active jet stream. Let's rewind the clock and take a look at that broader picture. Here's the jet stream, a pretty active affair out in the Atlantic, arrowing in from the west. And it's that which, for the next four or five days at least, will continue to bring these weather fronts drifting across the UK. So that fairly changeable theme is set to continue, at least until the start of next week. So for the next four, five, six days, Changeable kind of sums it up, which means there will be spells of wind and rain, but also decent sunny periods. Many places having a fine day on Thursday, for example. Temperatures generally close to average. The maxima generally in the mid-teens range, but it will turn a little colder across northern Britain as we go through Friday and into the weekend. Chopping and changing then for the next several days, but uh, things could get quite interesting as we head towards Monday. Low pressure up to the north on Sunday, but down to the southwest, this low pressure system does need watching rather than coming in straight from the Atlantic. It is approaching more from the south and it's developing as we go through Sunday and as it moves up towards the UK. So it is intensifying. Quite a few isobars close to this area of low pressure. It could be quite an intense feature. And these weather fronts will spread rain up from the southwest at some point. I say at some point because at this stage the jet stream is starting to weaken a little bit, which means the low as it crosses the UK perhaps won't be quite as intense. But nevertheless, it will bring a band of rain across from the southwest up to the northeast and some gusty winds with it, particularly around its uh, western and southern flank. But the exact position of that low, well, that's open to a little bit of doubt, as you'd expect at this stage. We're talking five or six days ahead. And this chart shows that quite nicely. It's the European model, a Dalmatian plot it's known as. And each of these dots is a different potential position for that low. And there's the UK in there. So the exact position of the low and therefore exactly where and how much rain we're going to see is still open to doubt. But reasonably strong signal that that low pressure will develop and push wet and windy weather across the UK through Sunday night and into Monday. So if you've got plans for Monday, you might want to keep up to date with the forecast. What happens beyond that? Well, that low will move through during Monday. And then well, out in the Atlantic, the pan somewhat shifted. We haven't got lows and weather fronts up to the north anymore. This is an area of high pressure. And there's a slow moving area of low pressure down to the southwest. And these two look like having a bit of a battle as we go through next week as to which one will dominate the weather across the UK. And so everything just becomes a little bit more slow moving as we go through next week. And the reason for that is a shift in the jet stream, no longer barreling in from the Atlantic, out in the Atlantic actually, the winds high up in the atmosphere have switched direction and curling around this area of low pressure. The main forcing of the jet stream has moved away out into the continent. So this shift in the jet stream pattern means that our weather at the surface across the UK won't be quite as changeable, won't be chopping and changing day on day. The changes will be slightly slower. And that is set to continue as we go through next week as this chart shows the position of the jet stream. Again, the European model. There's that strong jet stream. This is for Saturday, strong jet stream barreling across the UK as we head into Monday, hence that area of low pressure. But it then fragments as we go through Monday and into Tuesday with no strong signal, certainly close to the UK in here for that jet stream through next week. So the jet stream is breaking up across the UK. Not such a strong signal, which, as I said, is likely to mean our weather becomes slightly more slow moving. But it is also likely to be a bit of a battle between the high and the low pressure. This is that area of high pressure that we saw earlier. This is now for Thursday. So the high is toppled in in this computer simulation. Again, this is the European model. But that low is still down to the southwest. And it's this scrap that's likely to take place through next week between how far in the high pressure dominates from the north and how much this 
slow moving, mature area of low pressure pushes in rain and milder air from the south. So as I said, a bit of a battleground next week, but it's all gonna be a little bit more slow moving. We're not gonna see those bands of rain zipping across the country like we will for the next four or five days. That was the trend from last week as well. I showed this chart last week. Uh, this is the zonal trend where blue is westerly winds. And if you watched last week's 10 day trend, this was all dark blue, suggesting that throughout uh, the following week, we were gonna have westerly winds dominating. That's what we've seen, but the trend for this week into next week, not quite so clear cut, not that strong blue, particularly through the middle part of next week, suggesting that we are more likely to see those southerly winds, depending exactly on that position of the low and the high. And without that strong westerly wind, again, we're unlikely to have that chopping and changing of the weather quite as much as we will over the next few days. So yes, changeable weather into next week, but then through next week with that weaker jet stream, weather systems are likely to become slow moving. Which wins out between the high and the low? Well, you'll have to stay tuned for more updates on that and the day-to-day -day detail as always. We will have more on that as we go through the weekend and into it next week. And the best way to stay up to date, of course, is to subscribe to our YouTube channels and of course, making sure you're following us right across social media.